everyone. I'm short, so I want to make sure this is up so everyone can hear me. So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Marcel Millet, and I have the privilege of being the executive director here in the southwest region of Canine Companions. I'm so incredibly excited to be here on our August graduation day. And I just want to, first of all, start off by congratulating our class of August of 2023. Before I begin our program, I want to welcome all of our new graduates and their family members who have been on our campus for the past two weeks learning to work with their new canine companion service and facility dogs. We are just so very proud of you. I'd also like to welcome our selfless puppy raisers who have helped prepare done such an amazing job helping to prepare these 12 incredible service and facility dogs who are graduating today. And I want to thank the rest of our puppy raisers that are here, especially those of you who are turning in one of the 47 puppies that you have raised, trained, and cared for these, this past year and a half. I cannot believe that we have 47 new puppies that are arriving to campus today. It's certainly an exciting time, and we could not do it without you. We also have several special guests joining us today. We have our National Vice President of Philanthropy, Barbara Barrow, who's in attendance. We have um, our entire Southwest Regional Board who are here. I'd love for you all to stand to be recognized. Thank you so much for all that you do. I'd like to welcome and thank all of our generous donors who are in the audience today that have come to join us in this celebration. Thank you so much for your support. It truly means so much and your support has what's gotten us here today. And of course, we want to welcome all of our guests who are, are here as well as are watching us virtually. Um, we're so glad that you could join us. We also have one other special guest in the audience, and this is just such a special surprise. Um, I'd love to introduce Joe Turcott, who is in the audience today. Joe ran across America from Boston to Oceanside over a four-month period and over 3,500 miles. And he did that to help raise awareness and to raise funds for Canine Companions. And, and that run resulted in raising over $35,000 to benefit Canine Companions. Thank you so much. And last, but certainly not least, we are so pleased to have our CEO, Paige Mazzoni, who is attending her first ever Southwest Region graduation. Paige would like to say a few words, Paige. Hello, everybody. Welcome to graduation. Um, as I said earlier, today's a magical day. Today's, it's really weird. Um, today is a little bit of the ripple. So all of you are part of this magnificent circle for those. How many people here are, are first time graduation attendees? Oh, we got a lot. Woo! So Thanks. you are in for an amazing surprise um, and an amazing heart filling, tank filling day. So today is the day where you get to see the full circle of breeder caretakers who breed and wealth these puppies, hand them off to puppy raisers who put their heart, soul, love, effort, and dollars into them for about 18 months, and then see the impact of our amazing trainers and staff who train them, and then the courage and confidence in us of these amazing graduates who come and spend two weeks and inspire us with how they use these dogs to do amazing things when they go home. Thank you all. Um, we got to spend time with the graduates this morning, and it's just 
really life-changing for us to see that it's all worth it. So you will all see that today. For our donors, thank you for being here. Um, today is a day that you really can't describe until you see it, because there's a little bit of magic that happens. Um, so thank you for being here. We hope you get to see the ripple. This is happening in every region across the country today. We have six, for those of you who don't know that. Um, we are graduating 54 teams today, and we are turning in over 212 future service dogs from Puppy Raiders. So, and uh, we are graduating those 54 graduates into a community of 2,700 graduates across the U.S. So you are in good company. You have a family who will be here. We will all be here to support you. Um, we thank you again for trusting us and taking a chance with us. So I will hand it back to Marcel, but thank you all so much for being here. I love being in the Southwest. I won't say it's my favorite region because nobody believes that because they say she says that in every region, but it's kind of my favorite region. Um, so have a great day. Enjoy. Get ready to have some tears of disbelief, and thank you all for being here. And when you leave here, spread the ripple, spread the happy, spread the hope. Have a great day. opportunity to present the special edition Canine Companions Challenge coin to one of our graduates in honor of his service to the military. I'd like to invite our new friend Bob Plowey to join me on stage to help me present the challenge coin. Bob is representing the company East Field Secure who generously sponsored our graduating veteran team. familiar with this tradition, challenge coins date back to World War I. There is a legend about a soldier who kept a bronze coin given to him by his captain in a leather pouch around his neck. When he was captured by the Germans and escaped, he avoided execution by the French once they recognized the unit insignia on the coin. It became a tradition for all service members to carry a unit emblem coin at all times, just in case. Today, military members give challenge coins as gifts of honor, respect, gratitude, and loyalty. Today, we are honoring our veteran graduate, Rob Schuler. Rob, please join us on stage. Army for nine years and he completed two deployments to Iraq during his service. Rob, we are so honored to present you with the special Canine Companions Challenge coin as a symbol of our respect and gratitude for your service to our country and our veterans. Thank you, Rob. everyone that was thank you Rob for those of you who weren't at our brunch this morning Rob was very quiet so it, I was great to see that he had shared that with us so now I'm so proud to introduce our new puppy program manager Stephanie Yoko Everyone, as the puppy program 
Yard Manager. I have the privilege of working with our amazing puppy raisers every day. Our puppy raisers are some of the most selfless and kind-hearted people you will ever meet. Our amazing puppy raisers pick up a very cute eight-week-old ball of fluff with very sharp teeth. They endure sleepless nights of potty training, which is basically an adult half asleep carrying out a puppy saying, hurry, you can do it, hurry. And then they teach this little ball of energy that their kennel is a fun place to be and there's no need to scream at the top of your lungs. As these puppies start to grow up, their puppy raisers take them everywhere, to work, to the store, on trips, and to puppy class to learn new skills. Our puppy raisers do all of this in hopes of laying a strong foundation to prepare this special pup for a person they haven't met yet. After about a year and a half of hard work, lots of love, and just a little bit of dog fur, these amazing puppy raisers hand over the leash of their once tiny little balls of fur that have turned into beautiful, smart, and well-behaved dogs and proudly watch them trot off to professional training to find their destiny. Today, we celebrate the hard work our amazing puppy raisers have poured into these exceptional dogs. So please enjoy this matriculating class of August 2023 slideshow. <laughs>
much to all our wonderful puppy raisers for raising these exceptional dogs. So, I would also like to take a moment to thank our amazing volunteers and staff that make our breeding program possible. Our breeding program is based out of our Canine Companions headquarters in Santa Rosa, California. Every quarter, we select new breeder dogs from the recently matriculating puppies, and today we would like to recognize the amazing volunteers that make that possible. So please join me in honoring and congratulating our newest breeder dogs, the volunteers that raised them, and their new breeder caretakers. all puppy raisers of matriculating dogs to line up to my left. Presenting our matriculation tassels today is Paige Mazzoni, the CEO of Canine Companion. While the puppy raisers are gathering, I'd like to recognize a few dogs that graduated from other regions but were raised here in the Southwest region. We have Daisy the Eighth, and she was recently placed as a hearing dog and was raised by Kelly Ferris and Chad Yagura of La Jolla, California. And the following dogs were recently placed as service dogs for veterans. We have Dakota the Seventh, raised by Kathleen and Doug Bell of San Diego, California, and Mateo the Fourth, raised by Emily Boyle of Chula Vista, California. It is now my pleasure to introduce our matriculating class of August 2023. This is Joe the 4th, raised by Scott and Joy Parrish from Denver, Colorado. Uh, Joe is the second puppy they have raised. 
This is Cheyenne the fifth, raised by Erin Lands of Denver, Colorado, the first puppy she has raised. This is Sunflower the first, raised by Emma Lowry from Boulder, Colorado. This is the first puppy she has raised. This is Josie the sixth, raised by Mia Deck from Thousand Oaks, California. This is the ninth puppy she has raised. This is Greeny the second, raised by Stephanie Ilagan and family from Lake Forest, California. This is the first puppy they have raised. This is Violetta, raised by Vanessa League from Tucson, Arizona, the 21st puppy she has raised. This is Morris the seventh, raised by Allie and Bob Jinoski from Anthem, Arizona, the seventh puppy they have raised, and also raised by Mary and John Thompson from Phoenix, Arizona, the seventh puppy they have raised. This is Marlo the third, raised by Lily and Glenn Jones from Layton, Utah, the tenth puppy they have raised. This is Maurice the third, raised by David and Lorraine Emmert from Ogden, Utah. This is the eleventh puppy they have raised. This is Tulsa the fourth, raised by Mike and Trina McCaffrey from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and this is the first puppy they have raised. This is Keller the second, raised by Donna Curry, Heather Shields, and Randall Ames from Littleton, Colorado. This is the seventh puppy they have raised. This is Spike the Seventh, raised by Heidi Heineke from Broomfield, Colorado, the fourth puppy she has raised. This is Kiva the Third, raised by Luis Roop and Joan Tedeschi from San Diego, California. This is the eighth puppy for Luis and seventh for Joan. This is Scrivener, raised by Gene Shoggy from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and this is his first puppy he has raised. This is Jaden the third, raised by Karen Hillborn from Black Forest, Colorado, who has raised two puppies and has helped with prison pups, and Karen Mendra from Colorado Springs, and this is her third puppy. This is Perla the second, raised by Kathy and Art Pugh from Oceanside, California. This is their fourth puppy they have raised. This is Tomas the second, raised by Rachel Maddox of Colorado Springs, Colorado. This is the second puppy she has raised. This is Rihanna, raised by Pat Bird and Sandy Mills of Denver, Colorado. Pat has raised 15 puppies and Sandy has raised four. This is Hugo the sixth, raised by the Navcon Brig Miramar. This is their 81st puppy they have raised. This is Pip the third, also raised by the Navcon Brig Miramar, and this is the 82nd puppy they have raised. This is Kai the seven, raised by Terry and Jim Butcher from Laguna Niguel, California, the eighth puppy they have raised, and Chris Hosmer from Laguna Niguel, California, the third puppy they have raised. This is Razzle the third, raised by Kim and Mary Beth Whitney from Phoenix, Arizona, the third puppy they raised, and Cindy Hilby from Sun Lake, Arizona, her first puppy. This is Norman the seventh, um, raised by Nancy Peake and Julie Ga Gazek from Durango, Colorado, the 17th and 16th puppy they have raised. This is DeLacy, raised by Liz Kern of Vista, California. This is the sixth puppy she has raised, and she has puppy number seven here. 
This is Holden the Fifth, raised by Edie and Jet Wynn from San Diego, California. This is their first puppy. This is Olympic, raised by John and Marianne McKiernan of Denver, Colorado. This is their 16th puppy. This is January the 2nd, raised by Jody Halpern from Villa Park, California, and this is the first puppy she has raised. This is Shadow the 8th, raised by Mary and Ray Siegel of Irvine, California. This is their ninth puppy, and Kristen Anderson of Irvine, California, and this is her third puppy. This is Gwenny, raised by Michelle, Don, and Rebecca Shima from Redondo Beach, California, their first puppy, and Terry and Joe Stombaugh from Redondo Beach, California, their 18th puppy. Jess, raised by Debbie Wickham of El Cajon, California, her sixth puppy, and Kristen Stanley of La Mesa, California, her second puppy. This is Nina the Eighth, raised by Joan Carpenter of Rio Rancho, New Mexico, her second puppy she has raised. Raised by Betsy Knight and family from Albuquerque, New Mexico, the fifth puppy they have raised. Congratulations, puppy raisers, and thank you for your tireless dedication to our mission. One more round of applause. So as all of our puppy raisers know, the question they get asked the most frequently is, how can you give them up? We are going to show you right now, the best motivation for puppy raising is to be immersed in our wonderful mission at events like this. The mission of serving others through the human canine bond. Our latest team training class has created 12 new teams. The dogs are exceptional, but so are the people and their stories. So please join me in meeting our newest teams, the graduating class of August 2023. A summer rain is passing over But you hold on to me I'm under your skies I'm caught in your eyes Don't you know you stop the round And all that I can see is you I'm standing all in my head ask me anything you want to cause the answer is yes I'll spend my whole life just being caught up in your eyes don't you know you stop the This doesn't happen twice 
to be here with Canine Companions. This is our newest family member, Service Dog Adler. Adler. And we're excited to have him for uh, helping with our calming and um, our chores around the house and activity. Flash, what do you want to work with, Adler? I want to work with mostly calming down. I feel like um, what I would really like to work on is probably like don't really do well when I'm like eating new food so I was wondering if he could like help me work through that you know and I think it's gonna be um, really fun for us to work on some of our OT goals out in the yard playing fetch and probably with some of our chores by helping us pull our laundry basket or pick up hangers and things like that and then lastly to help with a social bridge when we're out meeting new people we are so very thankful to CCI and all of the staff from the moment we arrived uh, with Jen welcoming, welcoming us to all of the introduction of the directors and the staff that we don't get to see every single day, but mostly um, uh, Morgan and Kate throughout the day, uh, throughout these two weeks of training have just been awesome. They're available, they're approachable, and they're so very, very good at what they do. It's been a really, really warm and easy experience and just incredibly eye-opening all the great things that these dogs can do that we're conscious of and that we're not conscious of. And um, uh, the food has been great. The facilities are awesome. They're beautiful. And they're in a beautiful area of Southern California here at the Southwest Training Facility too. So um, again, we are, um, our hearts are full and we're so very happy. 
and I would just add to that, uh, huge, huge thanks to our puppy raiser for shaping Adler into this amazing support that he is. And also a huge thanks to all of the donors who made this program ooh, possible um, for us to have such an amazing support for our kiddos. So thank you. My name is Chris Smith. Um, this is my fourth children's dog, Aiden, and this is also my mom, Robin. Hi, I'm Robin Smith, and I'm Chris's mom, and I'm his assistant. Um, I think Aiden might help me retrieve stuff, um, the open doors, and get my parents. Thank you to the Buck Rick for all the effort they put in the Raising him over the 18 month they had him. Hi, my name is Melissa and this is my service dog, Ava. I'm from Anaheim, California, and I'm most looking forward to Ava helping me with retrieving items off the floor and cover. Um, my favorite thing about Ava is in the morning how when I take her out of her kennel, she wiggles her little butt and she's super excited to see me. I wanted to thank my mom for being here with me and the puppy raisers for doing an amazing job on raising them through time and dedication. I wanted to thank the donors and volunteers um, for their generosity. I wanted to thank the trainers um, for training such amazing dogs and for the board members for putting this all together for us. Okay, hi, my name is Amy Travers. I'm from Rancho Palos Verdes, California, and this is Davis. And I'm Brad, and this is our beautiful dog, Becker. We're really excited um, to have Becker help Davis get through his day-to-days, um, especially going to different therapies like vision therapy. We're very excited to see if he can do some ball roll exercises with Davis. Um, also take him into public settings that can be a bit overstimulating and challenging for Davis. I think it's gonna make a huge difference in his day-to-day -day life and we look forward to see all the different ways their bond will develop and the ways that he can make a huge difference in Davis's life. We wanted to thank the puppy raisers, canine companions, all the trainers, all the donators. This is something so special for our life. Thank you. Hi, my name is Julia. I'm Ellie Davis and this is Deborah. I know so it's dog. I love his kisses and his cuddles. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Denver helping us with her emotional regulation and easing her anxiety. My favorite thing is um his personality. What about what book what do you like about um, his personality? About him, his floppy. What does he like to do with you? He likes to cuddle. <laughs> his cuddles? Yeah. I would like to thank his puppy raiser and his trainer who filled him with so much love so he has a ton of love to pass on to Ellie. And that no one's on. Yes. You give Ellie love. <laughs> Ellie love. <laughs> This is my partner, Howdy. I work for the Downey Police Department in LA County. Uh, Howdy will be helping me uh, assist victims of crime through the process of reporting up until they go to court uh, and have to testify against their aggressor. Um, it's, he's gonna be doing great work. And I just wanna thank Canine Companions, everyone involved with Canine Companions, from puppy raisers to donors, and also, uh, a lot of members of my department, including Chief Leslie Murray, Captain Lochner, uh, Lieutenant Viegas, and the POA for helping me through uh, the process.
My name is Jeremy Nolan, and this is my facility dog, Jenny. I am a speech therapist at the Vista Adult Transition Center, just up the road in Vista, California. Um, I'm really excited uh, for Jenny to just help me teach a lot of the kind of social emotional learning activities that I do with students, you know, helping students communicate if they need to self-regulate um, or, you know, use some coping strategy. She sure, certainly knows a lot of those that I think will help students. Um, I think she'll also really be helpful motivating students uh, if they don't want to go on any of our community-based outings. You know, she might just be that extra little pizzazz that they need to get her uh, to get them out into the community. All that being said, I'd really like to thank my school district, uh, the school board members, uh, any staff, students, parents that have helped advocate on my behalf to get her and keep her in the district. Um, obviously, Canine Companions, it goes without saying, all of your board members, um, donors, um, I'm, I'm internally, eternally grateful for uh, what you provided and I'm excited to see what, what I can do with Jenny here. Hello, my name is Josephine um, and this is Monty. So we will be working at Rancho Los Amigos National Rehabilitation Center in Downey, California. And our clients or our patients at Rancho will benefit most from Monty when he does uh, tasks like visit. He's going to provide the motivation for our uh, patients to keep going and work hard so they can really improve uh, during their stay at our facility. Um, I just wanted to thank every individual who has been uh, part of Monty's uh, life journey since he came into this world, since his first breath. Um, he's lovely, he's very loving, and uh, I think um, he will be very well loved at French. Hey, I'm Rob Schuler. This is Rainy. Super excited to take her home and uh, get working with her to you know, make my life easier and maybe I can make her life a little bit more meaningful too. Uh, I really appreciate it to uh, Canine Companions for all the work and, and, and dedication they put in um, and to the puppy raisers that um, took time and effort to raise these dogs and not even enjoy them uh, years later. So thank you again to everyone. Lebon Edmondson and this is Valencia. This is my service dog and it's my third one. Uh, I've had two beautiful service dogs before this and I'm looking so much forward to Valencia and I uh, forming a team and doing lots of fun things together. Um, I had a spinal cord injury from a car accident where I was pushed under a semi truck and changed my life and that life was Pretty depressing at first, thinking I wasn't going to be able to take care of myself or do things by myself. But then I discovered Canine Companions, and these service dogs have just changed my life. I'm looking forward to being at home with Valencia and having her uh, pick up a lot of things that I drop all day long. I could pound nails through my hands, they're so numb, and probably 30 or 40 pencils on the floor every day and now my service dog will be picking those up and helping me go on with my normal life and doing the things that I need to get done. Um, opening my door to get out the front door so we can go on a fun walk together um, is really always a neat thing and I love going out in public and sharing about CCI and uh, what a wonderful organization Canine Companions is. Um, I really appreciate all of you out there who have given your time, the puppy raiders and raisers and the breeders and people who have given support to Canine Companions. It's just so wonderful. It's so um, awesome how you give love to them for a year and a half. Um, the trainers working with them and the puppy raisers who've had them for a year or so. And the fact that you've given them so much love and so much attention and training. Um, it just makes our life is so wonderful. Um, 
with the kind of dogs that you prepare for us. And I just want to say thank you to the supporters and the foundations and all of you that just financially or do whatever you can do. Um, we just appreciate it because it makes our life wonderful. More, more independent. I'm able to go out and do things on my own now. I can go in stores. I can go camping and go on a walk by myself without someone right beside me. So thank you. Hi, my name is Diane and this is Tori. We are from Littleton, Colorado, and this is our new service dog, Virgo, and he's amazing. Um, we are most excited to help Tori with her um, anxiety and emotional regulation. Uh, we've already seen huge benefits just in the short amount of time that we have had this amazing dog in our lives. Um, I think. All of the commands we've learned so far are going to help her in her daily life and in transitions um, and helping her just be more successful in everything that she does and be, be able to shine through. We want to thank the puppy raisers who have raised these amazing dogs um, and anyone and everyone who's been able to make it so that we could have this uh, come true for us and we love Virgo so thank you for everyone who's donated and all of the fundraising and all the amazing people out there thank you hi my name is Timothy Weber this is my service dog Wichita we are from Santa Clarita California some of the things that Wichita is going to help me with on my daily basis is picking up dropped items, tugging laundry basket, um, increasing my uh, level of independence not only in the house but also outside of the house and, and as well as uh, just overall improving my um, confidence level. And um, I would like to thank K9 Companions uh, for giving me this opportunity. I'm very appreciative for being able to attend team training. Um, it has given me a level of um, confidence that I um, wasn't expecting. And I'd also like to thank the puppy raisers and the donors um, because without you guys, you have played a vital role in Canine Companions' mission. So I am forever thankful. Instructor assistants Katie Lake and Kate, uh, Carrie Willarius. This means I was also one of the lucky ones that got to train some of the sweetest, smartest, and of course most adorable dogs in preparation for this day. The amount of joy, gratitude, and pride I feel for these dogs is indescribable, and I feel privileged to have had the opportunity to be a part of their journey. The journey started with our amazing volunteer puppy raisers. They picked up these dogs when they were just eight weeks old and could be picked up and smuggled in their arms. Then they nurtured them into the sweet, intelligent, well-behaved dogs they are today. It is their patience, dedication, and selflessness while raising these adorable puppies for the first year and a half of their lives that laid the foundation for these special dogs. They spent countless hours housebreaking, socializing, grooming, exercising, training, and best of all, loving on these temporary family members, knowing the day would come that they would have to let them go. I hope they're comforted and feel an intense sense of joy 
and knowing what a gift they have helped to provide for our graduates today. We could not fulfill our mission without you. Then the dogs have their professional training, where their trainer spends hour after hour polishing the floor work that was taught by their puppy raisers, teaching the advanced skills, assessing their temperament both on campus and in public, providing the much needed exercise, as well as time to relax and cuddle, my personal favorite. All this while getting to know each dog as an individual and determining whether life of service is in their heart's desire. As all this work and fun with the dogs, both in the puppy uh, home as well as professional training is happening, our graduates were going through the rigorous application process in the hopes that we would have a dog that could fulfill their needs. This process can take time, but I'm confident that throughout the process, they're dreaming of this very day. We cannot forget the rest of the staff, the volunteers, and the donors, all working tirelessly behind the scenes to get everything ready to fulfill our mission. Whether it's raising funds, cleaning kennels, bathing and walking dogs, providing lunches, and the list could go on. Many of these tasks being performed by our cannot do it without them, kennel staff, who love these dogs as much as we do. We're fully aware and ever so grateful that their work helped to make it possible for these teams to be here today and graduate with one of those much beloved dogs. We could not have done this without your help. All of this leads to team training. For those of you who don't know, team training is an intense two-week course where students are matched with their service dog, which requires them to put their lives on hold and devote their time, energy, and effort into this exciting yet extremely exhausting journey. They've spent countless hours listening to lectures, doing homework, going on field trips, and most importantly, practicing skills. Much of this work requires them to go outside their comfort zone, both physically and mentally, as they work, play, and bond with their new best friend. Over the past two weeks, these students have learned how to use over 40 verbal cues with their new dogs, and have come up with brilliant ways on how to best utilize these dogs to add years of independence, happiness, and companionship to their lives, and for some of our graduates, for the lives of those they serve. These students have in turn taught us so much about gratitude, sacrifice, and teamwork, and I couldn't be more thankful that my career has allowed me to become a part of their journey. As a little insight as to how team training works, the first couple of days of class, our students spend time working and interacting with two, three, or even four different dogs that we believe could be the right fit for them. Then, the third day of class is the much-awaited special day called pre-match day. It's on this day that we announce to each of the students which amazing dog we believe will be their perfect match. It's a day full of emotions, and we, the staff, get to witness the pure joy on the faces of the recipients when they see exactly which dog we chose for them. There are often squeals of joy and the occasional moment of extreme pleasure that leads to tears being shed. It's after this point that the student's real work begins. The students learn the handling sequence to cue the dogs to do tasks for them. They work on carpet dog to hone their skills before then working with the real dogs. Along the way, there's a lot of coaching of stand or sit up straight, relax your arms, loosen your grip, slow down your cues. Don't forget to motivate and praise your dog. Make sure you're setting your team up for success. The students work diligently on timing for delivery of those cues, marker words, motivation, and praise. They also learn to vary their motivation and praise and occasionally even get a little bit goofy to make it known to the dogs that they are truly sincere. We did have our share of challenges over the past two weeks, as every team training does. The whole process can be confusing to the dogs as they wonder, who is this person on the end of the leash? And why are my trainers taking less and less of a role in handling me? if not even attempting to ignore me. Our students are such amazing troopers though, giving the dogs the motivation, attention, and support they so thoroughly deserve. One of the most rewarding parts of this process 
is when the dogs start looking to their new, their new person, these wonderful graduates, and begin to ignore the distraction of us, their trainers. Some might be surprised when I say that I'd love to see it when my dogs start to ignore me during team training. But that means that we have made the right choices and that dog and student are successfully working as the team that we had envisioned. One of my favorite memories from early in this team training comes from the first day of class and involves a young recipient from the class that wasn't even teaching. They had just finished drawing a picture of an adorable dog. I commented on how great the picture was and they prompted, promptly brought it over to me and gifted it to me. Then, when another trainer commented on how she didn't get a drawing, they immediately proceeded to draw another unique picture and gave it to that trainer. This may have nothing to do with the dogs or even teaching class, but is an example of how special our students are and often make us feel, even the youngest ones. There are so many fun and special memories I could share from the two weeks such as the huge smile and occasional laughter from one student as her dog snuck up onto her lap in her wheelchair and lathered her face with kisses. We also had one dog checking out his handler's harmonica during some time spent in the dorm room and actually making some noise come from it. I guess he wanted to learn to play the harmonica. I loved hearing a special way some of the students talk to their dogs, such as a rousing Yahoo to praise the dog or a calm, that's my girl, during a perfect let's go, or an even more fun, go with Chico with Chico, <laughs> to motivate the dog to complete a difficult task. Another student referred to her, his dog as A-Man. You got this, A-Man. <laughs> and another young recipient got a little stuffed dog that resembles their new dog named Adler, so she, they refer to it as Addy. We have one graduate that noticed that her dog had a mark on her back leg that looked just like the heart to match the grad's tattoo. She even wondered if we put it there just for her. <laughs> it is incredible to watch the intelligence of these dogs, as well as the willingness to work through challenges with their new handlers. We had one dog that needed to learn that getting into her new person's car meant she had to jump up high into an extremely large vehicle, up onto a bed in the back, and into a kennel and wait there patiently while the grad rode onto a lift into the vehicle, then transported from her wheelchair and onto the bed next to the kennel where the dog so patiently waited. Another dog learned quickly that her handler could more easily play fetch with her if she placed the toy nicely in her lap. The same student thoroughly enjoyed watching her dog's ears flop around while running and playing in the yard with her. We had two students that even appreciated and laughed at the loud snores coming from within their kennels as they slept soundly overnight. So many fun, special, heartwarming, and occasionally challenging moments were shared between dog and students. All the hard work over the past two weeks brought it all together, and now the dogs are working for their new handler, retrieving items, opening and closing doors and drawers, providing some much needed heat pressure, or nudging the recipient to get their attention. The teams you are about to Valencia the Sixth. 
a female, black, lab golden cross. Valencia is being presented today by her puppy raiser, Allie Stock, from Laguna, Laguna Nigel, California. is Melissa from Anaheim, California. Melissa is being placed with service dog Ava V, a female yellow lab golden cross. Ava is being, or Ava was raised by Crowley County Correctional Facility of Colorado, and Ava is being presented today by CEO Paige Mazzoni. Aiden the fifth, a male yellow lab golden cross. Aiden is being presented today by his puppy raisers, Maria Barroja and Joe Scarupa from Lakewood, Colorado. to introduce is Rob from Aurora, Colorado. Rob is being placed, oh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I'm too quick. Uh, <laughs> Rob is being placed with service dog Rainy the Third, a female yellow lab golden cross. Rainy is being presented today by her puppy raisers, Connie and Chuck Braddy from La Mesa, California. Santa Clarita, California. Tim is being placed with service dog Wichita II, a female black lab golden cross. Wichita is being presented by our puppy raisers, Julian Lewis Murgis from Huntington Beach, California.
The next graduate I would like to introduce is Tori, the facilitator Diane from Littleton, Colorado. Tori is being placed with service dog Virgo IV, a male yellow lab golden cross. Virgo is being presented by his puppy raisers, Mary and Chris Keenan and Jenny Bullock from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Denver the fifth, a male yellow lab golden cross. Denver is being presented by his puppy raiser, Jeannie and Howard Wolfhurst from Henderson, Nevada. is Flash and Oliver, the facilitators Brooke and Ryan from Denver, Colorado. <laughs> Flash and Oliver are being placed with service dog Adler III, a male black lab golden cross. Adler is being presented by his puppy raisers Don and Mark Rudolph from Poway, California. is Davis, with facilitators Amy and Brad from Rancho Palos Verdes, California. <laughs> Davis is being placed with service dog Becker III, a male yellow lab golden cross. Becker is being presented by his puppy raiser, Laura Bowen of Carlsbad, California. facility dog Monty the Eighth, a male black lab golden cross. Monty is being presented by his puppy raisers, Diane Sebastian and Leslie Hennessy from Cardo Springs, Colorado. being presented by Eileen Sir. <laughs> and now I'm going to pass the microphone to Jeremy as our class speaker. Word of note. It's going to be very 
hard for this. It's very exciting. organization and coordinated trips to the local Humane Society so that our participants could walk dogs and spend time decompressing. These memories always show just how powerful dogs are in promoting self-regulation. Oh, dang it, there was my free drink. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew that one day I too would want the calming presence of a dog in my classroom. <clears throat> and now here I am, <clears throat> many years <laughs> Many years after leaving that middle school classroom and the Humane Society, receiving my own facility dog, Jenny, and continuing Canine Companions' mission within my school. I hope that other districts can follow the lead that we are so privileged to set. This will be my fourth year working as a speech therapist at the Adult Transition Center, and I'm always trying to find new and exciting ways to increase student engagement and promote students' social-emotional learning. I cannot overemphasize just how much of an asset Jenny is going to be in these pursuits. She'll help motivate students to communicate coping strategies and self-regulate when having a tough day. She can help model augmentative communication devices during aided language stimulation activities in our medically fragile classroom. Students that are chronically absent or might be nervous to attend their IEP meetings may be motivated to attend more often if they get a friendly shake from Jenny in the morning and when loading the buses in the afternoon. She'll be a great tool for teaching independent living skills on our community-based outings, something that's especially important for my students as they transition into adulthood. And plus, who wouldn't want to attend a lunchtime social group now that I have Jenny in attendance? These are just a few of the ways that Jenny will help my students engage in speech activities and grow into social, regulated, communicative, and independent young adults. Jenny and I will hit the ground running since classes start up next week. I am extraordinarily grateful to Canine Companions for independence, Jenny's puppy raisers, and all of the staff, parents, students, administrators, and school board members, many of whom are here, uh, that have helped ensure dogs like Jenny can continue working with our most vulnerable students. Jenny and I certainly have a lot of work to do, and I'm excited to start this journey with her and see what we are capable of as a team. So with that, I guess I will just say, Jenny, let's go. to follow all of that. I don't even know what else is left to say. 
This has just been such an inspiring ceremony. And Jeremy, thank you so much. We just can't wait to see what you and Jenny do and the, the difference you're gonna make in so many students' lives at your school. Southwest graduates, wow. It has been a journey these last two weeks. But today, you join more than 387 other graduate teams from across our region who, just like you, have created a life-changing human-canine partnership. Congratulations. <laughs> we are so very proud of you, and we're so glad that you have joined the Canine Companions family. We certainly couldn't experience these incredible mission moments without our generous donors who continue to ins be inspired by our mission. Thank you to all of our donors for your generosity that allows us to provide these amazing service and facility dogs at no cost to our recipients. Before we depart, I also want to thank all of our puppy raisers, those of you who walked across the stage today, those of you who are turning in your, your pups to us today, and all of our volunteers, no matter what you do to help our organization, thank you so much for your time and your efforts. We simply couldn't do what we do without you. Thank you. And lastly, please join me in recognizing our incredible training team, their dedication to teaching our dogs to be the best service dogs they can be is simply incredible. Please join me in thanking and congratulating all of our trainers. Before we, before we all leave, I just have to say, this is my second year here at Canine Companions, and I am just starting to really experiencing these full circle mission moments that everyone keeps telling me about. Today, I watched Denver graduate. Denver was one of the first young puppies that I met when I was traveling through our region, and I was just so proud to be able to say that I knew Denver back then. <laughs> And just being able to look out and see all of these familiar faces from our incredible volunteers and donors um, from New Mexico, Colorado, Arizona, Utah, here in Southern California, just, it's just amazing to me how many of you are out there supporting our mission every day. And I'm just so incredibly thankful to be here um, in the Southwest region. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here and helping us and these 12 amazing teams get to this point today. So now that's it. That's, we've come to the end of this glorious day and this glorious celebration. Um, please, for those of you who are traveling, travel safe, have a safe trip home. Thank you again for joining us.